Today we get to play with Foucault's pendulum. When anyone asks me why I'd want to do this, I tell them. Some men just want to watch the world turn. Hello YouTube. Last week, I asked you how you would figure out your distance from the North Pole if you were trapped inside and unable to see outside. Many of you came up with the idea of using Foucault's pendulum, which is exactly what I'm going to be using. For those of you unfamiliar with the concept, a Foucault pendulum is just a very long pendulum that's free to swing in any direction. You might be wondering what's so cool or interesting about something as mundane as a very long pendulum. Well, if you watch this pendulum swing long enough, you'll notice that the plane it's swinging in is actually rotating. To see this effect, you have to watch the pendulum for hours. You might even be tempted to dismiss this as some kind of mistake, some kind of experimental contamination. But no matter how carefully you isolate the system, the plane still rotates. So what's happening? Many of you may have guessed that it isn't the plane of the pendulum that's rotating, but the Earth. The pendulum is actually doing its best to just keep swinging back and forth in a fixed plane. This rotation of the pendulum's plane, or precession, is actually a prediction of Newtonian mechanics. Using Newton's laws and some vector calculus, you can actually show that the speed and direction of the pendulum's rotation depends only on your latitude. If we measure the time it takes the plane to rotate, we can calculate our latitude and then use that to find our distance from the North Pole. All you need is a watch and a pendulum. So now that we have a plan, let's go try some science. Here we are on Ubix campus, taking advantage of a six-story stairwell to do Foucault's pendulum. Now, there isn't enough space between the stairs to do a full 360 degrees rotation, but we don't need it. We're just going to do 10 degrees, so about an hour's exposure, and use that to calculate our latitude. Like most things in physics, fire makes it more awesome. I know watching a pendulum can be a bit boring, but do you know what makes it better? Pointlessly dramatic music! Given this latitude, we can find our distance to the North Pole using a little trigonometry and the radius of the Earth. For the latitude we measured, the North Pole should be 4,470 kilometers away. This is only 167 kilometers off the measured distance. I'm actually really surprised at how close we came to the actual value. Imagine how accurate we could be if we ran the pendulum for many hours straight. I hope you enjoyed watching a Foucault pendulum being used to calculate our latitude. Congratulations to the YouTube user Lou Grimms for being the first person of several to guess right about my method. There were some other approaches that may have worked involving compasses, but it would have been too technical for me to even try. If you're interested in the math used to sort this out, there's a great discussion on Wikipedia. Still, a proper understanding requires some knowledge of vector calculus. Hey, it's a perfect excuse to go out and learn it. So until next time, when in doubt, use science.